Whenever Spivak shot for a takedown, Cyril Garn would use head control as his first port of call for defense. Although Cyril moved his hips back in this example, although in the next one you'll notice that he doesn't move his hips back. And so the common denominator in how Cyril Garn defended each of the takedown attempts against Spivak last night involved head control in some capacity. Although Cyril used his weight distribution more effectively and that was a major area of improvement, although it's worth breaking these down in isolation now for context of each example. Example. Now in this sequence, Garn's a bit more flat-footed, so Spivak extends a left hand, but Garn's able to circle away from it as he does. But afterwards, Cyril Garn's legs cross momentarily, and he also raises his guard, so Spivak faints as though he's going upstairs with the left hand. And Spivak does this to make sure that Cyril Garn's attention is kept upstairs, and then he shoots for the double leg takedown, but you'll notice Cyril Garn pushes down on the head of Spivak as the first port of call for defending the attempted takedown, as ultimately the direction in which Spivak moves his head will dictate the direction in which the rest of his body goes for the follow through and Cyril Garn wants to disrupt that. He wants to make sure that that kinetic chain as Spivak shoots for the takedown is disrupted so that he can't secure the single or the double leg. And this allows Cyril Garn to circle outwards and it prevents the takedown from being secured in the process and then shortly afterwards Cyril begins switching stances from orthodox to southpaw and he also teases Spivak by fainting in either direction and Cyril Garn squares himself and that opens up the surface area of his body. This makes Cyril a bigger target by exposing more surface area where he's more vulnerable for a takedown and also he finds himself flat-footed. And Sir Guy Spivak cottons onto this and he then shoots for a takedown very similar to the way he set up the last one by fainting upstairs first of all as a decoy to distract Cyril from what he was really trying to do and he shoots for a double leg takedown but you'll notice Cyril Garn revert back to how he tried defending the first one and his first port of call was to push the head down and try and create separation. Although Spivak's covered more ground this time around and that forces Cyril Garn up to the cage but then you'll notice he continues to push down on that head as he tries relieving the leg pressure. And then as Cyril Garn spins off the cage you'll notice he uses that left arm to try and control the head in doing so but this time around he sinks his weight. He sinks his weight onto Spivak and that allows him to sprawl better and be able to get a better position for defending the takedown. And incrementally, he's able to sprawl out of the takedown and ultimately defend it. And shortly afterwards, Cyril Garn then reverses the position from a sideways angle after having just successfully defended the takedown. And that allows Cyril Garn to then land his own shots. And you can see that here with the right hand and a few others follow afterwards. And then as Sergei returns to his feet, I want you to keep your eyes on Cyril Garn's right hand and how he's controlling that tricep of Sergei Spivak. As by controlling that arm, Spivak can't then use it to protect his body and that side of it's vulnerable, which Cyril Garn then exploits with a knee. Now it's also worth considering that last night, Spivak came down the line. He came very centrally when looking to make all of his takedowns. And so inherently, Cyril Garn only faced one particular scenario in terms of having to defend takedowns from a certain angle. So it doesn't necessarily paint the full picture for how Cyril Garn would do against a very good or elite level wrestler at heavyweight. Although improvements have been made in that regard and it's worth noting that against John Jones or Stipe who can chain wrestle better, it remains to be seen how Cyril Garn would do against either of those two or in the case of John Jones a rematch later down the line. Although for now Cyril Garn has made some improvements in his takedown defense although it remains to be seen against better opposition how good that will be in the future. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer for you in future videos or the extended breakdowns, just tweet them over to me. That's at ElusiveRaf on Twitter. If you guys want to see my daily fight analysis uploads, I upload those every day to Instagram and that's at Elusive 2.0 on Instagram.